I believe that properly understood and applied, this could be the most powerful tool in your toolbox for transforming your organization. Now, I know that sounds like hyperbole, but, but I believe it, and I'm going to say it again. I think properly understood and applied, the ability to embody the values could very well be the most powerful tool in your leadership toolbox. Leading by example is not enough. It's critical and it's huge. But here's what I want you to think about. To fully embody the values, we need to say it and show it. Don't fall into the trap that leading by example is enough. It's critical, but it's not enough. I'll give you another example that you might never think of because this person has never, in my knowledge, been accused of being a servant leader. Alexander the Great. He fully understood the power unleashed when a leader says it and shows it. He used to talk to his men all the time about the values of courage and bravery. Courage and bravery. Courage and bravery. Alexander's coming. What do you think he's going to talk about? He's probably going to talk about courage and bravery. He even came up with some cute ways to uh, remind them. He says, none of you will ever die with an arrow in your back because we will never retreat. He talked it, and he talked it a lot, and he talked it good. So is that enough? I mean, he said it. Well, in uh, a well-known battle in India, his men had just put a ladder up against a wall, and he sensed a moment of hesitation as they were about to assault. He broke through the lines, and he went up the ladder first. His men were stunned. There's Alexander on the top of the wall, you know, fighting. And they, there goes our leader. We should probably go with him. And so they all rushed the ladder at one time. And, of course, when you try to put lots of people on one, one handmade wooden ladder, guess what happens? It collapsed. Well, Alexander, being on the top of the wall and seeing that his men might be detained, did something that legends are made of. He jumped inside the wall into the enemy camp and began to fight hand to hand. Now, his men quickly found another ladder, got up, got over the wall. They found Alexander on the other side, leaning against a tree to protect his back, still fighting with a three-foot arrow in his chest. How hard do you think his men fought the rest of that day, the rest of that campaign? They had seen their leader in action. He had talked about courage and he had talked about bravery, but he had also demonstrated it. Talk is cheap, but when you say it and you do it, when you say it and you show them, your credibility as a leader will go up. Now, of course, the downside I referenced earlier, this is a very powerful tool in our toolbox, but it's also a dangerous tool because once we've articulated these values, they will become the litmus test by which we're judged by those we would like to lead. So we've got to be careful, but it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. 